it's not what you want, is it? It's the joy of a yard being on top of a mountain. We get this white stuff. Oh. For the love of God! Look at it! Why for you snow? Uh, hopefully bottom of the hill is going to be, it's all going to be gone, it should be. It don't normally stick around very long down the bottom, but it just seems to, um, well, hang around. We're not really on a mountain, we're just on a really big hill. Not so much as a snowflake down here. Nothing at all. You wouldn't even know it's snow. They're full of cold again. I can't believe I got a cold. Ooh. No rain, no snow, but the wind is howling. I think I need to move. I emigrate, I do. A good old British weather is becoming a little bit tiresome. I think we should do some flat work, a bit of flat general, what do you reckon? <laughs> Dig the old sheets out. Hopefully now they'll be here. Everything will be ready to go, and we shouldn't be too long. Hopefully it won't be too long. But no, my luck, nothing's ready, you watch. We're in Newport as well. To slow down, did he? Instead, he wanted to drive like a right and at a prat. Well done, sir. Well done. Uh, oh, it's a good sight. This is car. Oh, there you are. Machines up and running. Let's go. Right, that's what we got. Um, 24 ton, I think that one is. Flushies. This is going. Oh, this is going to um, a new job we got started down in Western. Oh, it's freezing. Look at that, blue skies, people, blue skies. Like Western Super in me. Western Super freaking me. In the good old uh, Rick Mail voice. If any of you don't know what that is, go and watch Bottom. Western super freaking me! Except he doesn't use the word frick, he uses something else. Oh, come on. Let's go then, is it? Come on, Nelly. Oh, is Mr. Katana driving on him yet? No, he's not. Oh, well, that was just. Ooh, have you got him? Nearly had him. busy old roundabout this here, I've got to pull out and obviously I can't um, 
pull out because there's a lot of traffic just decided to turn up as I've come towards it. So I've just gone slightly over the line. All the cars are coming through, two lorries, and no one of the lorries give way. Well done to you, mate. And to be fair, thank you, Mr. Van Driver. Um, to be fair, when you come around this roundabout in the lorry, you're going to cut the trailer over. It's only one lorry at a time that comes through. So you think, you know, a bit of decency. I'll let out my main man. No! They will not. Thought, didn't it? That's what we need, a bit of thought. If there's one thing I've learned in this job, well, don't get done today, get done tomorrow. No point in killing yourself to do it. For trying to save 10 seconds and you know, driving like an idiot, there's no point. None. It gets you no way. Absolutely no way. It don't get you 10 seconds up the road, that's for sure. So all it means is when you get to the next set of lights, they're going to change and they're going to hold you there and then I just toot on up behind you. <coughs> the trailer bed was frozen this morning. Um, when I come down here, I was hoping it was going to defrost. It didn't really defrost. It was still quite icy when I left the yard. When I left the yard. When I got down to the yard. Uh, putting a machine on with, a, with an icy bed. Makes the sphinx the grip. <laughs> you don't need to put a seatbelt on. Your butt cheeks will grab a seat. It's definitely not for the faint heart, that's for sure. I've had some few, uh, I've had a few, um, shall we say, um, um, I've had a few scary moments. <laughs> as long as you can get out and walk away, that's what that does. One machine off a side's enough. I've had one off. And um had a roller come off a side when I was putting it on. It was just uh, um not really sure what happened actually. When did that happen? Back last year? So yeah. <sighs> off to the side we went. I might put a picture in, I might not. Yeah, see how we feel. <laughs> yeah, but that happened back last year, I did. <sighs> right, we've got to go western. Well, I haven't been over here for a long time. I can't remember the last time I was over here. It's a beautiful day, the wind is blowing. It's a scorching seven degrees outside. Oh, shut up, you stupid thing. I keep getting that blue warning popping up and then going off. It's getting on my nerves now. I'm not a hundred percent sure where I am actually going. Three seven one, yeah, we go on that one. I don't think that shell garage was here last time I come here. Yeah? None of this shell garage or any of that in front of me. I say, remember the helicopter museum and all that, but nope, the rest of it I have no recollection of. It 
has definitely changed a lot. Wow. going the right way, I think. time I come over into Western there was um, a massive amount of development starting. Clearly there's still a lot of it starting or oh, going on I should say. housing developments have happened over here. Well, it looks a bit lots more. The job they're going to is a housing development. That's if I can find it. We're looking for Banwell Road. Where are you, Banwell Road? Where are you? chips right yo best we turn around oh blinking Nora bus no At best we find some way to turn around down a lane and uh, find out I can't get through either. That will cause lots of problems. 
but I better find something to turn around. Oh, that's what I didn't want to see for there. Um, I'm in Banwell. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good fun. It could have been fun. It could have, yeah. I could have been coming back now. He's had to go down there, turn round. Have you? Yeah. Well, for fuck's sake, you just got it over, have you? Yeah. It's all you can do. I just had to go. Up. I struggled through, but yeah. So I got to go up there, turn round. So I missed the turning down there. Ah well. Oh, good luck. Uh, I can't wait. Process, isn't it? Hey, um, hey, all fun. Um, yeah, I've been banned well. Um, missed my, I didn't miss my turning. There's a weight limit on the turning, so I'm not going to risk that. I'm going to go in the other way. And do, do, do. to be fair, there's no. Um, there's no weight limits or nothing coming through here, no restrictions, but there is no way a HTV should come through here. No way at all. And this is and this is people panicking now, look, don't know what to do. There you are, look, this is the perfect example now. Now people get a grip, get around me. <laughs> They're all stopping to give way, but I can't because I got a not gonna get past them down there. <laughs> so as long as they all you know move up. And I got a junction behind me if I went to try and turn. Oh, I have to squeeze this through now. Here we go then, in for a penny, in for a pound. Nothing better than uh, dragging 25 tonne or 24 tonne through narrow streets, is it? All we want now is to take out somebody's house. That's as far as I can go. On today's episodes of Trucks and Fud Ups, <laughs> Car struggle to get through, the van flies through. As long as they, as long as they all hold, but you know, come on, mate. Come on, get through. Right. I let them through now. Come on, Spartan. Oh, this is all the exciting stuff, this is. A guy who I'd just seen with there then, he said he had somebody scream at him when he was coming through here. Yeah? Asking what idiot brings a lorry through here. Yeah? He said, I ain't got no Thatcher's love. <laughs> Which I believe is uh, only around just up the road with there. Oh, come to Western Super Mayor, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Here's my tip of the day for you. Come on, move up Ben. Or sit there. Okay, so driver's tip of the day. When it's all going wrong, be polite and take your time and I'm sure you'll get through it eventually. Possibly, you know, maybe. Uh, if 
I'd gone in the other way, I wouldn't have had this problem. Let's get this up there. Come on, go. Oh, our fence is a bit close. It's a bit close, the fence. Oh, breathe in, mate. Breathe in a lot. The, the, the volume of people which just don't know what to do when something big's coming towards them is, is scary. But to be fair, I'd rather them just sit there like lemmings than and do what like some people just turn up the road there. Right, that's enough chaos caused in Banwell. <laughs> They're not gonna like me. I'll try to go this way. I'm gonna try and go this way. Let's see if that works. Not much luck, really. The Simmons Homes. I wouldn't put my dog in one of their homes. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know how the Simmons allowed to still build houses. I really don't. Shocking. I can't believe the, the amount of houses they built down here. It's quite incredible. Absolutely incredible. From what I can see, everything to the left of me, but they know that's was going to be done as well. I do believe, at the moment, they're building the houses so fast. The quality of a house is is diabolical. Um, it will be a matter of time now before they start having massive problems. Because the newer houses are not going to last like the old uh, stone houses used to. My property is a new build. Uh, it's five, no, seven years old. It's well, it's it's crap. It's all timber framed. Quick lay the bricks outside and away they go. This roundabout wasn't here last time. Sure of it. Run away! Yeah, this used to be a straight road. Yeah. Up to the Ashby T Junction, that's right. Um, is he two? Can't think of the company name, but he parks by. I got um, a lot of Volvos, um, red and like a, I think it's like a bluey colour. Beautiful lorries. Always immaculate. Run out of even mouth on the containers. Gentlemen, I can't think of it. Can't think of it. Oh, the last time I was down here, I delivered a lot of paper reels. The DS Smith. to look if I can come in the other way because the other way to come in I think it'll be easier than this way. I got a sneaky feeling I'm gonna go through a seven and a half ton weight limit this side. I don't normally worry too much about the weight limits it was the fact that on that one it just says seven and a half ton weight limit it did not say um, 
for loading or unloading. And it didn't say except for access. But this side says except for access. So, let's try this way. Set for access, let's go. Now the street by here should be called something wood. Brentwood, or Benwood I think it's called. I what it's called, hang on. Oh, Woodside Avenue, that's it. Just past you apparently. Where are you to? Looking for a lay-by. A big lay-by. Answers on a postcard, people. This is a bit narrow. Oh, all right, keep going. Hmm. Have I gone past it? Hmm. Something's not adding up. I don't really want to risk going through it. It don't look too clever. I did just try to flag a bus driver down to see if I could get through, but he um, he was obviously a little bit late this morning. Apparently this site is by here. I've gone past it. I'm not sure how I managed to go past it, but I have. So where are you two? The blinking egg, are you? See you then. <laughs> no wonder I drove past it. Eh? Oh, you're gonna have to the gentleman go first. Oh, 
Oh wow, there's no way I would have found that. This is what we love. Somebody didn't put the, the old diesel cap back on the machine. So we've now got diesel all over the bloody trailer bed. And just for good measures. I've got a puncher. So here's the site, here's the site entrance, believe it or not. As you can see, I just um, I was blocking the gate by there and they come out, so it's a better quickly move. Yeah, um, that's the site. The entrance. No wonder I couldn't find it. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna pinch a brunch and brush off somewhere now. <laughs> Time to go, you know, off to the next one. Uh, I think, back there, I'll drop this off and pick a bulk back up. I think. I'm not actually sure, to be honest with you. Treat of an entrance is. Oh wow. And I drove past it. Right, so that's done. That's um tire pumped up, trailer swapped, time to go. Oh, that um, that daff is really growing on me. I quite like that setup. I do like um, a daff. Daff are without a doubt the best truck to live in. Best truck to drive, Scania. Best gearbox, Volvo. Just saying. If you combined all three together. Even though it's got a flat roof in it, there's still quite a lot of room in there. There's um, still plenty of room, like. So I think the boss man's still playing with his new toy. Yeah, that we've bought a new crusher, or he's bought a new crusher, whichever. It's a massive thing. <sighs> and off goes the old one. Oh look at this, how stunning that is. 580, manual, 80 ton. Thank you very much. She is a sweet old thing. The pigeons. <laughs> right, so we're gonna grab uh, another load of that stuff we were doing yesterday. Finish the day off. Now we've pumped the old tyre. No point in having a new tyre yet. And we're going back in the scrapyard. <laughs> and let's do a new set of tyres on the tag axle anyway. So we'll get a bit more life out of them yet. Still plenty of tread on them. I've had that bloody thing on most of the week. But not today. Today we have a proper trailer. We have a proper one. Just yesterday was glorious sunshine, today it is absolutely, um, well, um, crap again, really. Oh, 
Right, we're gonna pick up, um, where are we going? Uh, we've got a Cardiff. We're gonna pick up two machines in Cardiff with a bit of luck now. If all goes to plan. I'm hoping uh, the one machine's gonna be finished with nice and early, so I am gonna wait around. That'll make my day a lot easier. If not, it could be a bit of a late day, but we'll see. We'll see. The weather is crap again, absolutely horrible. I do love this roundabout eye because nobody has a clue where they're going. And it just gets worse. You all think it's uh, a great idea to cut in off the left when you're not supposed to. It's brilliant. Yet they insist on coming round and trying it. <coughs> if you come in on the left, they're supposed to go straight on, but they don't. They use it to jump the traffic and come round. We are going to Cardiff, but I'm not going in the main way. You're a bit naughty and go in the back road. Don't know if anyone noticed, but yeah, it's still raining. This weather's becoming rather depressing of late. Job. I'm not in a rush this morning. <laughs> Nine o'clock, you think everyone will be in work by now? Obviously not if you work in Newport. God, it's Friday. Shut up. That's my ad blue warning coming up all the time. Again. This truck went in for an ad blue problem about two, I think it was just before Christmas. And already we got another one. But the frustration of this, or really, the frustration with it is, it's telling me I've only got 31 hours before it goes into um, stupid limp mode. So if it can run 34 hours, or 31 hours, sorry, this can't be a problem with it, can it? How can the computer tell you? Yes, it will break in 31 hours. That's a bit too precise for my liking. It's an absolute shambles. I'd blew the biggest con I've ever seen. Because since I'd blew's been put in, on vehicles, uh, by all accounts, they reckon uh, most vehicles now, or nearly all the vehicles, will burn more fuel per compression to add the ad blue than the older vehicles used to. So, does that make sense? It doesn't! Oh, Mr. Santero, get out the way. Oh, my windows are steaming up.
slowly down, slowly down. I didn't think he was going to stop then. I thought I might have had him in the side of me. Plowed. Oh. All right, mate, picking up a telly handler. Okay, you know where you're going? Yeah, it's out the back, it should be. Oh, yes, no worries. Cheers, buddy. And yes, this is why you think it is Pinewood Studios in Wales. There's, um, there's, like I said, I've said it before, there's loads of filming going on at the moment in Wales. It's really cool as well. The last, when I delivered this machine, yeah, you could not move in yet. It was absolutely rammed to the hilt. There was a, oh, where is the machine? Oh. There was um, a crazy amount of vehicles. Just unbelievable. Um, where is it? Anybody know? Dun, dun, did I just, ha oh, ha, there you are. Um, let's reverse up, shall we? Let's reverse. I do love coming to these places because especially when they're um, when they are filming to see what's going on it's absolutely amazing and the volume of um, people which are involved wow that is crazy last time there was probably I don't know 40, um, 40 trailers, um, oh, scaffolding, there's chippies, there's all sorts involved, it's mad. One film set uh, we used to go, we were going to when they were filming, um, oh, Discovery of Witches, oh, shut up. There was 300 extras on it one day. 300 just for extras mm -hmm. I could have actually drove up here mm. well we'll know for next time we'll know for next time Right, that's the bucket strapped on. Ah, no. Oh. This is screaming at me because we have no fill. So the question is, ah, oh, shut up. Have we got enough to get it on the trailer and off the trailer? Let's find out, is it? <laughs> If you're wondering why it's up there, it's because I want to put another machine on the back of there. Yee! Those gates are locked. And when I got here, um, there's no keys for the machine. But there was a note inside, which you can't, you won't want to see it. Um, but I wouldn't be able to find the, I wouldn't have seen the note unless it's actually inside. So the machine's locked. So for me to go and get the keys, because the note says they're in uh, security. I'd have to walk, not that way, all the way around. Don't people know it's raining? How dare you? Yeah, so that note 
inside the machine. I couldn't have seen that because it was buried down by the side of the steering column. So I'd have had to walk all the way around to go to the security to get the key. And then walk all the way back. Meaning I would have been rather wet. But because I've got a magic bunch of keys, I didn't have to do that. I can just get in, load it, and then find the keys after. Which, to be fair, a lot of the times I pick machines up, the keys are not there because somebody's taken them home. I don't know what it is with um, some people. They just, like, they got to take the keys. Uh, a lot of the machines I pick up are our own ground workers. You go there, there's no keys because one of the ground workers has taken the key. And nine times out of ten, is somebody who hasn't got a license to drive the machines anyway. So why they want the keys, I don't know. Mind-boggling, mind-boggling. Absolutely crazy. But, should be here now. Let's see if the man's got the key, because apparently it's in here. Hello, buddy. Have you got the keys for this? I had a note saying they left in security. Nah. Nah. All right, no worries, buddy. Oh, I, I just a note inside saying keys for security. No worries. All right, buddy. Good night, Dara. Surprise, surprise. Guess who hasn't got the keys? The thing is, it can cause so many problems. You know, I, I'm, I carry, I don't know, pretty much. I got a key for everything we to use, so. That's half the battle, but there is one or two keys I'm still missing from other machines. But, oh well, here's what it is. So always carry a magical bunch of keys.
Really? Come on, go away, stupid person. I'm not saying it's raining much. I have no idea if we can actually see that on the screen, but you know. Full waterproofs. I just put my hand in my pocket and pulled out a fish. I am absolutely soaking wet. Drenched to the bone. And the road up there now is flooding, so yeah, brilliant. Right, I got lots to do. Jesus Mary! It's just not letting up, it's getting worse. It's absolutely pouring down. I'm going to get wet again. Mate, I have dried off from the last time. Oh. Oh. This is becoming a bit tiresome, this weather. I can't believe the amount of people have got no lights on. But it's pouring with rain. The wipers are on, the lights should be on. Wipers on, lights on, that's the rule of thumb. Yeah, another one. A lot of it's new cars as well because people think their um, side lights are on on the front, their day running lights doesn't mean they're on on the back. It's just about, there's another one. So that's two in more, 100 yards. Three? Jesus, man. I think uh, the world needs to be, um, how can we say, um, we need a good pandemic of something. Maybe they'll uh, trim the herd. Because the world is definitely getting, well, stupider. Don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect, we make mistakes, but some things really do Bag of belief these days. As long as it stops raining when I take this uh, take this fourteen tanner off, I'll be happy, man. And up to the yard, take the telehandler off, put another telehandler back on, and then we're uh, off to Tree Oki in the deepest, darkest bowels of the Welsh valleys. Rain's eased off a little bit, I suppose. That's one thing. Well, the wind has picked up now because we're on top of a mountain. Or rather, big hill, depending. Ha! Weight limits. Ha! I don't care about your weight limits. Do you know who I am? How dare you put a weight limit up in front of me? Ha ha! How dare you! God, such a rebel. Rebel without a cause. I just don't care anymore. It's just the fact that I gotta go through the weight limit because the site's in the weight limit. <laughs> Could have come up off the roundabout, but I'd be facing the wrong way to reverse in, so we'll uh, 
a little detour up and around and we can reverse in on our good side ah you should have give way mate and have we got another one is he gonna have a go as well i think oh no thank you yeah why make it difficult for yourself when you can make it easy at least now i can uh, reverse in on the good side Jobs are good on. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I think I'll be glad to see the end of the day. Yeah, I'll be glad to see the end of this week. It's done nothing but absolutely pour it down. Yesterday was a nice day but it was um, high winds, sun was out, don't get me wrong, it was lovely, but still blowing a gale. And today it's just been torrential rain all day again. I'm sure there's one of our, a viewer of mine around here somewhere, whoever you are, hello. Oh, this is Oakdale, the Blackwood. Let's go and see the happy bunch. I don't think they'd be impressed to see me now because these boys don't be home by about 1 2 o'clock on a Friday. And there's only one way in and one way out, and I'm going to block the way in and out. going to be the wettest, well, the wettest month ever. Wow, school's gone. It was a school, but then it's gone. I didn't even know that. It, it's, yeah, it's got to be the wettest month on record. It's got to be. It was literally just rain for, I don't know, four weeks, I think, constantly. Why wouldn't you move over, lad? Ah, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Just sit in the middle of the road. That car did not move, just sat there. Standing, a car parked on the bang on the corner, just what I want. to the kind man with it. Nobody else would have. Right. Well the road haven't been finished so I think I can chuck this on the road for you now and get out here. Yeah. It's 
Bingo. Don't know why I bothered bringing these on because they're absolutely soaking. Because it's raining. Right, this one's coming off. And we're going to put another one of them back on. And the reason we're not going to put the same one back on is because that one's got to be serviced, ready to go back out again. Make sure it's all safe. I'm just get wet now. Do -do. Right, let me quickly show you something. There's the front. There's the back. See how much the wheels are different on each side? Let me get down and I'll explain why. Apologies for the alarm, can't do nothing about it. So, if you look at the front wheels, they look straight. And if you look at the back, at a glance they look straight, but if you really look at them, you can see it's off a little bit. The reason is, that's what makes the machine crab. Now, by here, there is different settings for the steering. So, that setting means the front, you can see it, but that setting means the front wheels and the back wheels will turn inwards and outwards at the same time. Middle one should be for the front wheels turning only. And then the end one is for both sets of wheels to lock and turn at the same time. So, um, that's the first setting. And then obviously the front one is pretty self-explanatory. If you press it on the third one, This happens, the machine will crab. So if I turn, oh, I'll turn you like that. Oh, come on, you like that too. Yeah, so let's turn that way. Okay, so now, both wheels will turn, the front and the back will turn in the same direction together. So the machine will move sideways. So if we put it back on that one and turn, you should click your bugger, come on. And turn. And that way now, the wheels are locked. That's how you reset them. So, there's one fib. So just to reset there. Turning on um, from the crab setting. Put it on the other setting. Turn the wheel, then turn it, and it'll lock it straight. Stop your falling off a trailer. Stunning day. Good, proper Welsh weather. Sick of it now. Oh, our new lorries have turned up. <laughs> oh. Right, so that's one done. One off. Why would you park a van with the. Let's see. No, no, that's fine. That's no worries, but you you straight now. You free. It's all right, man. Don't worry, my fella. Oh well, then I'll answer that question. Who parked the van there? He did. Ah oh, no. oh, well. So be, so be. Right. Best we get a bit of a wiggle on because it's uh, time is a kicking on. It's half past two. Oh no way. Well, you'll never guess what I've done. Left my spoon in the house! Oh, 
Oof. Right, so we have two new lorries. How cool is that? Two brand spanking new ones, ready for the road uh, Monday. And look at that, they are not Volvos. Hmm. I wonder why. There's <laughs> uh, something missing off the front of them grills. I don't know what it is. It needs something. Hmm. Don't know, it needs something though. Why have we got dafts when we are all Volvo? Maybe one day I will uh, enlighten you. <laughs> Making this sound really suspicious, isn't it? Like some massive um, controversy has happened. And <laughs> maybe one day, maybe one day, I will unleash my uh, my opinion on it. Maybe. Like I said, we're gonna run this up the trio, you know. Uh, it's half past two. It's probably a good hour to get there, so. It's two, it's half past three. Ugh, not really the time I want to be getting there, because that's what time the schools kick out. Ha ha! Yippee! Ah oh, well, we'll find out now. Oh, you gotta love old trio. We're deep in the old Welsh valleys. Deep, 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 deep. Oh my, 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 my. Anyway, stop raining. <laughs> oh. Come on, get you up, Nelly. I could have come in the other end from um, oh, from Ponty, but it's it's just not worth the hassle. It's all stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. So straight up over the top of the Rick Arson, and away we go. If I just come over there, and the weather is absolutely horrific up over the top of there. That is something else. Come on, kid. Out you come, man. Ah, that's it. Run the man over by the side of him. Ah. <laughs> I think he was a bit concerned then about, his, uh, about damaging his Bentley. I wouldn't have damaged it. I would have got past. I suppose I've picked up another one this afternoon, but that's not happening now. That's going to happen Monday morning. So that's a nice little relief. I'm probably going to cause murder when I turn right by her now. That's it, you know, block the junction. matter with people man cannot wait so what we'll do is we'll block a junction ah <laughs> uh, you're not stopping him ain't you <laughs> he thought about it <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, buddy. Whoa, the river taff is right up. Actually, is that the taff or part of it? Holy Mary. Jesus. They put a weather warning out there, reckon the river taff's going to go again this afternoon. Which all I can say is I hope it don't. I really hope it doesn't.
I gotta come back out this way. <laughs> Right, can I reverse up the street? Probably, oh I don't know, I might get away with that now. Let's have a little butch us. Let's see if we can reverse up there now. Let's have a little butch us. Come on, let these cars come through. No, don't reverse back. I don't know. Jesus, come on! Right, is he gonna sit there? Duh! Oh, come on. Really? They're just gonna keep on coming, are they? Oh, see how many cars I got behind me now. That's right, that. Jesus. Oh, right. Um, ah, in and out in eight minutes. Eight lovely minutes. Didn't even bother putting my banana suit on. I just took 10 cc's of man up and got wet. Very wet. Actually, I got soaked, so yeah, you know. Uh, I can't believe how, um, I just can't believe it's rained so much today. Every river I'm passing is, is literally a bursting point. That's definitely gonna go over that one, is. You're not holding that one back. That's for definite. I just spoke to my missus now and she was telling me it's um, quite bad flooding back home. Well, I say back home, just down the corner. Oh, right, you're going to sit in this now and uh, fight our way back home, seeing this uh, now 10 to 4. Good old rush hour. Some of you might get it, but here's the famous. Can't see it very well. The fish called Rhonda. <laughs> There's another one just down the road. I can't think what it's called, but it's another pun on words, and I can't remember it. And I used to go there to have some chips, and then lush they were. Can't get a windscreen to clear now either. Ronda Tunnel Society. What the hell is that? Anyone? Any information on that one? Oh wow, that guy went back and parked there in the gas van. Fair play. It's not the best place to park like that, is it? Bus come round here now, and that's it.
best friend.